My name is William Beeman. I'm at the University of Minnesota in the United States. I've been working in the Gulf region for many years and have visited Bahrain again and again. I'm very concerned about the human rights situation in Bahrain and I want the people in Bahrain to know that there are many people outside of Bahrain who are also very concerned but they have terrible difficulty in getting good information about the situation. So I urge the people of Bahrain to try very hard to contact the press, contact foreign governments and also contact the, contact the world community in order to let them know all of the problems that are going on and urge them to take action. Could you introduce yourself? I'm sorry, my name is William Beeman. Uh, I'm from the University of Minnesota. I'm here for another panel. Uh, but the, uh, I'm uh, uh, especially disturbed by the lack of response both from the press and from the international community. Uh, we have uh, the Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain. You're located in Washington. I'd really like to know what, what your relationship is with the U.S. Congress. We have resolutions in the U.S. Congress all the time con condemning human rights in various parts of the world. We know that, for instance, the United States has very, very special military and economic interests in Bahrain. Uh, the U.S. press is not covering this. I invite all of you to go to Google and try to find anything about the latest uh, material in Bahrain. You'll get it from India, or you'll get it from Malaysia, or the, Singapore, the Straits Times in Singapore. No European papers, no major American papers are covering this. And I, and I, I, I think that the UN can do a lot but I'd really like to know what, your, what the, the NGOs are doing in order to try to increase public awareness of this and also working with governments that have a direct interest in the, in the situation in Bahrain. Uh, thank you very much for your question. I'm going to ask you a question.